This is the NPC File Explorer running a custom made super fast search engine that finds your files instantly because you definitely know how Windows File Explorer search is absolutely trash. So let's fix that. A couple videos ago I made the NPC File Explorer and you guys really liked it. Thank you. So today we're upgrading it with file search but super fast. Here is what we're working with but before we start let's fix some bugs and some random things. So let's fix a ton of stuff. Here you can see everything. I'm not going to read it because it takes like two minutes to read. But yeah, short edit, I guess. So with these small fixes and additions, let's move on to the search system. Here's how it works. Instead of scanning your entire drive every time, we'll have a file index. That index is basically a saved list of every file on your system the names, paths, sizes, and when were they last modified. After we generate the index for the first time, every search happens directly on it, which means results show up instantly. Where do we start? How can I approach in my file explorer? And we of course get Wikipedia back. Claude suggests two main components, an inverted index and a file system watcher. Instead of blindly copying what it gives me, let's first try to understand the concept. Normally, when you search for a file, you loop through every file and check if the name contains your search term. You may get lucky and get the file you want, or it may be on the last file you checked. But luckily, we can use an inverted index. This is a data structure that is used by search engine. The key is the term and the value is a list of all the documents where it has occurred. Thanks to that, searching is way more efficient. And the file watcher basically monitors your computer for changes in files so that the index stays up to date. Simple, simple. I'm bored. It's time to learn something new. For that, I use the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant.org, because Brilliant is the best interactive way to actually learn something. You solve these collection of little problems and keep building on things you learn. I like going onto Brilliant and exploring their massive catalog of courses and just spending 15 minutes every day learning something new. I've been using Brilliant for over 6 months now and I must say, it's a great way to explore something new, revise old knowledge or take on a new skill. Do you know what this is? It's a function. And I need to revise functions, I totally forgot them. I simply just go into Brilliant and search their courses for this topic. Now I can go back to learning what functions are I actually need to learn this. If you're interested in STEM topics, then I really can't recommend Brilliant enough. If you want to give Brilliant a go, head to my link in the description to start learning for free. Also, Brilliant is giving my viewers 20% off their annual subscription. Alright, back to work. And now I have completed the so-called first pass, where I just slapped together a random half-working version. So let's try and run it. We should be able to create a file index, update it, and search it. Hello? First off, as you can see, we have crashes. I mean freezes. The, the UI freezes while I guess something the index is loading. That's bad. And when we build the index or rebuild it, it also freezes. Awesome. Great. Awesome. We have to move some code to make it run async because this is trash. But apart from that, let's just, I guess, try to search for something. Yeah, it, it does search. That, that's good. But it, it did search. Test, yeah. A lot of tests. Let's search for help. Yeah, we also have 471 elements. Or oh, files. 471 files. That, that's very good. But yeah, we have to fix this. This freezing. Well... That worked, but wasn't perfect. I had random code freezing the UI, random crappy pop-ups, and the whole thing is generally a mess. It's time to do some optimizations. So let's just delete one third of the code, for good measure. Fix some stuff. By saying fix some stuff, I mean make the code run async with the UI and make the code less complex. For the pop-ups, we want to get rid of as much of them as possible. We want things to happen in the background without the user noticing much. But for some of the required messages like index is being built, rebuilding index, index is built, we can integrate them into the label in the bottom corner where I have the information about the current directory. 
it just seemed like the best place to add it and now when we run it yeah everything doesn't freeze and we should just search test again and, and test Be beautiful and as you can see we got rid of most of the freezes and integrated the whole system better with our existing ui no more console right line and testing message boxes good job if you're wondering this is how the file index looks like it's big really big in my case, it has around 610,000 files, which is a lot. Before we finish, we still have a couple things to do. First, let's modify the search text box to tell you to wait before the index finishes building for the first time. Pretty simple change, we just don't want any errors. Then, let's add keyboard shortcuts. One for manually rebuilding the index, which calls the build function and just builds it again. And another one to manually update the index, which calls the update function and well, updates the index. And finally, we can just put on some finishing touches. Boom, job done. Of course, it's not as easy as saying boom, job done. It, it, it's actually a bit of work. This video is really cut down a lot. I, I don't know, comment, should I include more code or is it fine? I just don't want the video to seem too technical. Let's have a look at the program. Good morning. When we first launch, we have to build the index, but, but don't worry, only once. For me, it took around 15 seconds. You can see that here. And after the build finishes, we also get a nice message about that. Now we can see that the search text box has updated and we can search for files. So let's search for something and you can see we have tests. Let's search for the file index, which we use for searching and you can see we also have two of them, because one was from a copy I made of this project. Now, let's take a quick look at the code. Welcome to the code. First of all, we have a load function. When the form loads, we just check is there an index. If there isn't an index, we built one. We also notify the user that it's being built. If the index exists, we just start the file watcher. Get everything ready. Then we have searching. If the index exists, of course, we can search. If there aren't any results, we have a label, which I think I haven't shown this, but let me just open it. Yeah, you can see no results found. And yeah, that seems to be everything from here. Then we have file search, which is a big chunk of code. You do not want to look into it. No, do, do not look into it. So yeah, I guess that's it. I did make a search. It works. It may not be perfect, but it is definitely better than Windows File Explorer. Code is on GitHub and the release with this update should be up soon. Thank you for watching. Next video in two weeks, hopefully. Comments or ideas for what to do. Goodbye.